I feel like this, the reason I picked this song is because I feel like it's a kind of the best example of, you know, octave mandolin meets songwriting <laughs> in terms of my repertoire. And also, if, like, sitting this close, you can kind of see, like, the simple chords that I'm using. And the one, they're kind of the ones that I go to first, where they might not be my go-to on the mandolin. G and the D. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, like, a couple of the things I was thinking about while I was playing that um, that I think are really great to keep in mind always if you're playing with people, but um, especially when you're playing by yourself, um, are dynamics, <laughs> number one. You know, and I, I, was, I feel like I was being super, maybe more conscious of it because we're in this classroom <laughs> setting, but uh, I, I remember being little and kind of first starting to, to write my 
my own songs. And I think I was actually playing the guitar. And I, I, my mom kind of told this to me, and I, it's just one of those things that stuck with me, where I was kind of accompanying myself at the same volume the entire way through the song, you know. Um, and she was like, maybe, you know, try to back off a little bit while you're singing so that you're not covering up what you're doing with your voice, too. And I was just like, oh, duh, you know. <laughs> She's so right. Um, and it just, it, you know, it gives the song a greater arc to constantly be thinking about that, I think. And, um, and especially when, when it is just you and you're working with less elements of what can create dynamics, um, like other musicians and instruments, um, it's really good to, to be aware of that. And so some of the tools that can do that, I think, are knowing how the instrument sounds differently closer to the fingerboard, maybe even over the fingerboard, and then kind of utilizing coming back closer to the bridge, which is something that I, you know, when I was little learning mandolin tunes, watching Bill Monroe play. You know, it's so powerful and loud, and it's right up on the bridge. And, um, you know, and then kind of hanging out in the middle zone for, for most of it. But I think, I don't know if you notice, kind of throughout, I would be like. You know, and not, it shouldn't get to a point where you're doing, you know, movements that don't matter. You know, it, it's all with, should be with a purpose. Um, but just something to think about that might not be an obvious, you know, place for your brain to go um, if you're just getting through the song, you know.